and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm gonna be going over all of the confirmed golden tickets. Now, out of all 20, we have 18 confirmed, like picture proof confirmed. We have a 19th that we know of that someone's not telling me the name of and we have a 20th that is rumored but a lot of people have said it so i'm starting to think it could be true now as far as the rumored one goes could be really cool i'll get to that one obviously that's the 20th one but for the most part i think we have the whole list pretty much set in stone except, except there could be two moving parts at a later date if people are trying to troll because as you guys know it's the internet people are always trying to troll so we could hope that these are the right ones but let's go over all of each like each and every one of them let's see their stats what they potentially look like and who are my favorites at the end of the day now guys before we get into the video make sure you down below hit that subscribe button turn that on your bell boys come join the family make sure you give the video a big thumbs up and as always make sure to comment down below if you guys need any help with anything or you guys have any kind of comments or you happen to know who the confirmed golden tickets are if the rumors are true or not that would greatly help as well now starting off with the first golden ticket one on my list here is free safety calvin now free safety calvin that was his first card his second card was down here as you guys do know free safety calvin comes with two things usually comes with speed zone and height Hit power was decent. Now, this new Calvin, here's the issue with this new Calvin. I'm, I'm personally not going to be a fan of it. Now, this new Calvin's probably going to get, with Sprinter, probably like a 97 speed. I think on the card itself, it'll probably like a 94 speed, maybe 95, plus Sprinter could have like a 97. Could have nine, I think between, I knew between 96 and 98. I don't think it'll hit 99 speed. The zone will get to 99. The man will get to 90 more than likely. Here's where it comes, by the way. Hit power will probably just hit like 91. In my opinion, guys, this is a dumbed down Sean Taylor. I, I mean, like, Sean Taylor is pretty tall. Just compare it to Sean Taylor real quick. I'd much rather have a Ultimate Legend Sean Taylor, because this Sean Taylor alone will have a better hit power than the new Calvin. Wood Sprinter, this Sean Taylor gets, I'm pretty sure, 96 speed, which makes him just as fast as this Calvin's probably going to be. More Excel, more Pursuit, more man already. So, almost same zone, but the zone for both of them gets pretty high. In my opinion, guys, I'm not going to be really a fan of this Calvin. A lot of things it could end up being, but I don't think it's going to be something that's going to be on my team. Next is tight end Calvin Johnson. This one could be pretty cool, actually. I do like this one. The only issue with tight end Calvin is that if you do rock tight end Calvin, you can't use wide receiver Calvin, which I do have fully powered up on my team, so that does kind of suck. But what could this card look like? He's going to probably end up with like a 95 speed, more than likely. And he's going to get probably like 92, 93 base, plus sprinter, plus John Madden, probably 95 speed. Card's going to be crazy fast, good route running, good catching. All around great tight end. Could be super glitchy if used properly. That's the only thing. Like... In the right in the right team, right scheme, and using like a wide receiver kind of on linebacker, you could probably destroy people. Next is Zach Gentry, tight end for the Steelers. I really think like you guys would kill me for this, even though he's gonna be 99 overall. He has a tendency to not give certain card stats, and I feel like this would be one of them. This card will probably end up with like mid-tier catching, uh probably low, I think low end route running. He's six foot eight. I really don't see them giving him good route running. Although the speed does look decent here for the most part. He could he's probably gonna end up with like a 91 speed. I th my, my thinking 91 speed plus like mid high 90 catching with high 80s route running with bad run block that's my opinion i don't think he's gonna be too great i think he's gonna be an uber red zone threat but even the way madden plays nowadays even with height i feel like that doesn't just automatically guarantee the catch it gives you better animations but it's not like the days of face catching where the height was just killer next is going to be lamar jackson golden ticket now coming on down to lamar jackson golden ticket in my personal opinion was it warranted did we need a lamar jackson golden ticket that's a great price for the ltd one actually well did we need one probably not in my opinion i really didn't think we did but the only thing that sucks is that you can't get too excited about it because it's going to be the same card they both get four ability slots the only difference is not powering them up but they both pretty much the same thing the new lamar is going to have a probably not from add one to pretty much every stat besides the boosted stats probably end up with like a 96 speed if they boost throw power and throw you know i might opinion, i wouldn't boost throw power I mean, you could, but I think with go deep and with powered up, the next, the next Lamar's gonna have a 93 plus powered up and have a 90. Oh, he can't be powered up. It's going to take it. So you have a 93 plus go deep plus shot man passing. Probably gets like a 96, 97. So it really comes down to, I guess, if you want to do it. But I think throw deep and throw mid is really important in terms of it's like re, it's the, the worst that he has. But the next Lamar's gonna be great. Gonna be slightly better than this one with some boosted abilities, which is gonna make him a lot better. But in my opinion, I don't know if that's the quarterback I'm gonna end up going. It really depends. There's a lot of quarterbacks, so I guess it really just depends on how things end up looking. Josh Allen, quarterback for the Buffalo Bills. Not going to be a fan of this card. He's going to be like 
one of those cards that can kind of run, can kind of pass. Gonna be somewhere in between. Next card's probably gonna end up like an 89 speed max. 89 speed. With, with Springer, he probably gets like a 91. His throw deep, his throw power's gonna be 99. His accuracy is really not gonna be all that great. His accuracy is probably gonna be like mid 90s, depending on what you boost. And his throw under pressure is gonna be kind of low. I mean, this card just isn't great. If it's if it's based off this card, this card just wasn't that great in my opinion. I don't know how much they're gonna boost it up. But Josh Allen probably doesn't end up making the squad. Next, we have Brian Burns. Now, this card could be really good, could be really bad. It really just depends on what they do. So, based off, as a pure pass rusher, he's going to be he's gonna be phenomenal. He's going to end up with, like, a 94 speed with Sprinter. More than likely, like, base stat, probably end up with, like, a 92 speed. And then with Sprinter, probably gets, like, a 94. Plus, he's going to get probably 99 finesse with, with Kems. As well as, if they do, if they were smart, whoever did this card, probably boost block shed, which gets him a 90 plus block shed, which is still kind of low. But with... The, Play rec being a 99, finesse is going to be 99. Speed's going to be probably 94. Six foot five frame. You could probably even leave him in zone just based off of the ability, of the fact that he's so tall and so fast. Could be super, super solid depending on what they boosted. Obviously, we can't account for that. Next, we have Adrian Peterson. Now, the only card that we have to go off of on the auction block is the veteran. He obviously did have the snow beast. But I'll tell you what AP's going to have. AP's going to have a 97 speed. They're not going to make him the fastest running back in the game. He's going to have probably 97 speed. Going to have probably close to 99 truck as well as close to like a 96 break tackle. His agility might be decent, his carrying's gonna be decent. They always give him, they've always for the history amount of giving him bad carrying. Gonna have bad catching, gonna have good acceleration. Probably gonna be like a 99, 97, 97 split on speed and excel. With, and this is with sprinter and everything, this were all cams. I don't think he's gonna be close to the best running back in the game. Will I use him? Could he be glitchy feeling? Yes, but on paper, he's not gonna be the best running back in the game. Next we got Michael Vick. Now this one I'm kind of excited for. Now I know what you guys are saying. You much rather had a different golden ticket considering we're going to get an ultimate legend Vic pretty soon but at the end of the day it's still going to be super fun gt Vic is it's just it's a staple it's a staple at this point this new Vic's going to be insane probably the best quarterback in madden quite honestly this new Vic is going to have 99 speed on 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 the card probably 95 96 but with sprinter and john madden gonna get to like 99 throw power's gonna be 99 throw deep's going to be with chems everything in 99 and if the person smart who made the card they did boost mid and short hopefully and this card's going to be a passing running beast with a super strong arm overall that makes gonna be pretty crazy kind of excited for that one he's probably one of the cards i'm thinking about for quarterback and the next one is going to be this guy right here which is another guy that i've been pretty excited for now robert griffin again can only based off the veteran if they make this card right if they do this card right they boost his mid and his deep and he ends up with like a 97 throw short probably a 92 throw mid as well as like a 95 throw deep 99 throw power for sure 95 throw on the run and probably if again if they do this card right ends up with like a 94 speed now i don't think they're going to give him the speed i hope they end up doing if they made it based on his old you know his, his rookie year on the redskins it'd be a lot better to leo jones now this card is going to be phenomenal overall this car is probably gonna get on the back of the car probably 95 speed with sprinter and with everything gonna get to like a 97 98 which is gonna be so fast enough and then he's probably gonna have 99 catching like all around the board with cams and everything i don't know what they're gonna end up boosting i know there was <coughs> i know i went over it before they're gonna end up boosting but it was kind of up in the air with a few things because i know the guy was kind of he was gonna change things i don't know what ended up happening with it but route running is gonna be 99 across the board minus deep route running but with cams and everything he's gonna get pretty close Route running is going to be phenomenal. He's going to be like Antonio Brown with Calvin Johnson with Tyreek Hill all put together. And on top of that, he's going to probably have some pretty great after the catch stats. I believe they might upgrade everything about doing juke. And so he might get evasive. He might get human joystick. There's so many things potential for this card. Going to be one of the best weapons in Madden as soon as he comes out. Really, now guys, Ezekiel Elliott hasn't gotten any love this year. His highest card being a 92. That's just sad at this point. Like, I don't know what he was thinking. Zeke, despite having a sort of down year, still one of the best running backs in the league. I don't know why they would. I just don't understand how one a, a top a top rusher doesn't end up getting a card above 92. And clearly they weren't saving him for anything because this, this is way too late at this point. But his next card probably going to be a little lack of speed. They really haven't given him the speed this year. His next card probably only gets like a 94 stat, probably 94 speed on the back. Of, oh, maybe 93 speed. Or 90, I'll go with 94. Plus Sprinter gets like a 96, 97. That's not bad. But I expect a better 99 break tackle more than likely. Probably gets 99 agility. Probably gets human joystick, quite honestly. He seems like the kind of running back that would get it. Now, in my opinion, is he worth it? I don't think he's going to be close to the best running back at all. I don't know why they're going to they're they're do it. I don't I don't know why they're doing this to him this year. Some guy in the coding team or whatever who makes the cards does not like... He does not like Zeke. We got Kervon LeBlanc. Guys, I really can't do this card. I just I just don't know how to. He's It's a gold card. I really don't know where to put him. 
based on this card it looks like he's a very well-rounded cornerback not crazy athletic well-rounded coverage so it looks like he's gonna end up being a guy with like a 93 split 93 zone 93 man 93 press as well as probably like a 93 speed it looks like everything's gonna end up probably in like 93 because this card nothing stands out in this card specifically probably end up with like a 90 97 acceleration probably 90 let's go 94 speed i just don't know how they're gonna make this card based on the, the cards that don't have cards to back off of to get better from ea somehow always messes those cards up they always make them just adjust enough to get to the 99 stat i don't know how they're gonna end up making this card it's really hard to talk on cam newton now this cam newton 92 was not that great they never make cam that great anymore it's been a few years since they made him that great his new cam newton probably gonna end up with probably if, if they boost him right with a good throw deep they boost his throw deep and his throw under pressure and his throw mid potentially this card probably ends up with like a 92 speed 99 throw power probably 97 throw deep probably a 94 throw mid and like a 95 throw short now his throwing stats really aren't going to be that bad compared to some of the other guys like maybe rg3 but i still don't think he's gonna be one of the best ones he could be fun but i don't think the speed's gonna be all there to justify him over some of the other ones now getting on to the new cards that were announced muhammad's the new quarterback is one of the confirmed golden tickets now i don't know how this card's gonna be guys it could it's gonna be fun but i don't know if it's gonna be competitive now this new muhammad's new probably gonna end up with like a 93 speed so with sprinter probably gets like a 95 speed at quarterback gonna probably end up with about a 99 throw power with go deep and everything throw uh throw accuracy deep probably gonna be in the 90s throw shorts gonna be in the 90s throw mid if that's boosted probably gonna be mid 90s and then everything else kind of looks not too great i don't know how they're gonna make this card it could be really fun we just don't really know we, we've never i can't base this off of anything because they typically make these cards with stats that are meant to be fun and running i don't know how they're gonna make them i don't know if it's gonna be a real style quarterback or he's still gonna be the same thing where he's more of a special kind of player on offense but trey waynes now this one i'm actually kind of excited for people weren't a fan of it but trey waynes always super athletic this card's going to have a 99 speed on the back of the card alone he probably has like a 97 then he's gonna end up with nine probably 99 speed close to 99 excel jumping's gonna be like 97 play rack's going to be probably like a 92 now this coverage might only be low 90s and press might be like a 95 but if they boost his coverage stats and he gets that high enough he'll be like a Deion sanders with press with a pretty good height as well as the catching isn't amazing but still super super solid despite all that taylor mays now a lot of people are really excited for this card gonna probably be the best safety in madden for probably the rest of the year quite honestly this card's going to have a 99 speed on the back of the card alone it's gonna have probably like a 97 plus we're gonna have 99 speed gonna have 99 excel gonna have probably like a 96 tackle with chems and everything gonna have like a 97 play rec pursuit's gonna be like a 95 hit power is going to be probably 99 zone coverage gonna be a 99 as well because that probably gets like a 94 and then plus lockdown three and if you put john madden probably gets a 99 and man will probably just hit the 80 mark this card's gonna be insane overall gonna be so this card's gonna be so well-rounded gonna have to do everything and he could probably lock up just about anyone as well as hit just about anyone i'm really excited for that card i'll probably pick that up at some point and then we got mike evans out of position cornerback which is interesting now we're gonna have a six foot five cornerback this card's going to have 99 man and 99 zone and probably 99 press guys this card could be really good he's probably gonna get a 94 speed plus runner so that's gonna be 96 speed 96 excel probably 99 jumping 99 man 99 zone if they boost his press 99 press he's going to be the most physical lockdown corner in madden with a six foot five frame with a catch radius that's huge plus an 83 catch guys it's gonna be like if richard sherman had height this is gonna be crazy this card could be super super amazing i i really don't know but it could be really good now for the last two now one of the rumored ones gonna be in the secondary for number 19 someone knows it and they won't tell me what it is but it's going to be in the secondary i don't know if it's gonna be a cornerback or a safety but it will be in the secondary i heard they're boosting catching which i don't know why you boost that in a cornerback considering there's probably other stats that could help you a little bit more than the catch stack considering it's madden at the end of the day it's all circumstantial sometimes but could be pretty cool if they do do a cornerback or a second us another safety because we didn't get much defense i would have preferred a pass rush considering we've gotten like little to no pass rush at all but it is what it is guys and for the 20th one we are rumored i've seen i've heard rumors of a Taysom Hill. Now, will that be a tight end or quarterback? Hopefully, quarterback, Taysom Hill quarterback would be a lot more fun. Now, if it's Taysom Hill quarterback, that would be awesome. I've seen a lot of people say, but like I said, it could be trolls, but not entirely sure. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, make sure you're below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell, boys. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always. And comment down below if you need any help. I'm out. Peace.